first you want to make sure your scanner is hooked up to your laptop or desktop whatever computer you're using so you want to go to system preferences all right go to printers and scanners it's in this one right here the photo smart after you choose your printer here on the side of your printer and scanner setting you want to go to the default printer setting right here and switch it to whatever printer you're using whatever scanner you're using all right now before you hit open scanner load your scanner up with some photos You can put as many photos you can fit in here. You can overlap them if you like. You can crop them on the program. I Me, mean, I just like to do four or five or six, depending on the size of the photo. So yeah. You wanna open your scanner. And the images should appear right here. Okay, while you're in this screen, you can crop your photographs, so try to get as close as possible so when you scan them, they come out perfect and you don't have to crop them again. It's a little small, but it gets the job done. Now, after you crop the pictures, you want to hit scan. Always put the resolution on 200 dpi or higher if you like to get a better quality now after you scanned all the pictures you want to find the photographs in your computer now mine always go go to the go menu and closing folder pictures now your pictures are right here in your pictures folder you can see how good you can crop them recrop them 